West Virginia University and most specifically our WVU Heart and Vascular Institute and Service Line is really enjoying a significant growth phase. And when choosing a fellowship, one oftentimes wants to be at a place where one gets exposed to the breadth and depth of complexity, but also exposed to the ability to add to the literature. The opportunity to not only advance one's clinical experience, but also academic experience, I believe personally is second to none, no matter which pathway they enter. Our focus is really generating the next generation of outstanding physicians. When trainees come here, they love to be in the operating room. And we as surgeons love to be in the operating room. It's actually a joy to be able to teach somebody how to do a procedure and to see that light bulb go off in their head. It's very exciting and rewarding for us as attendings. And it also gives the trainee a sense of accomplishment to know that they're able to do these complex operations. The WVU Vascular Fellowship is a two-year program and we take a fellow per year over the next two years, we make sure that that person is competent and confident that when they complete our program, they can go out and be a general surgeon or a vascular surgeon. I ended up at Morgantown for fellowship after doing five years of residency in uh, Philadelphia in general surgery. When I was looking for a fellowship, I was looking for a university program outside of a big city and to get a different pathology and to get a full breadth of vascular surgery and I'm in my first year of practice here at WVU at Morgantown as well. I was given a great amount of autonomy. Up to the first six months, you've worked with every attending. Uh, they know you, you work with them day in and day out. You get more and more autonomy as you go through until the end of the fellowship at the end of two years where I felt comfortable doing nearly everything unassisted or with minimal assistance, going all the way from uh, tunnel catheter placements at the most basic all the way up until thoracoabdominal aneurysm repairs and the fellows are intimately involved in every single one of those cases. During the fellowship, you will have some complex pathology that will require a lot of training and a lot of decision-making, but also you would encounter what we call bread and butter cases. Some other fellowships sometimes do not focus on those cases and you get into practice and it's actually kind of difficult to pick up I enjoyed uh, mostly the connections that I developed with the people, the opportunities of the various complex pathology that we were used to treat, and the confidence that I gained throughout my two years to be an independent vascular surgeon with a seamless transition into a practice. Many of our faculty serve as mentors, not only here in the training, but even times when the trainee has graduated and they are out in practice, we still continue to have that mentorship. Overall, the experience uh, at the Vascular Surgery Fellowship is great. I would not choose anything else now that I'm in practice and I look back at my training. If they're in a research environment, if they're in an academic environment, if they're in a private practice environment, by coming to our program, there are no limitations on what a trainee can do later on. It's very fulfilling, it's very exciting to be a part of the growth that is happening here at the Heart and Vascular Institute and just in Morgantown in general. West Virginia, it's a warm and welcoming state, so I think when people come here, they really feel like they're part of the family. I would tell people to consider applying for this fellowship if they want to come and be a well-trained vascular surgeon. When one finishes, one should be able to practice not only with clinical excellence, but be prepared and ready to lead.